Angel DeVoe. Uh, I'm 28, live in Burlington, and I work here in the Guelph location of Lakeside. I started my welding career just a couple of years ago. Uh, I've only been with Lakeside for a year. Before that, I was with uh, a different company doing structural steel welding, and uh, now I'm at Lakeside doing what Adele was speaking of. So I do the, uh, the sanitary welds, um, and that's kind of my role here at Lakeside at the moment. My job also changes day to day. Um, things have been, you know, a little bit slower due to COVID, but in a way it's kind of nice because it's given me the opportunity to work with other departments. So for instance, you know, last week I was in Acton um, at the Acton wastewater treatment plant changing out uh, some old valves. Um, so that was definitely fun. And today I was in shop updating our SDS and MSDS um, sheets. But on a regular day, you know, if we have a skid in the shop, that means coming in and talking to the team about, you know, who's going to be cutting pieces, who's going to be welding, which parts of the skid we're going to take over. And then it's just putting my hood down and getting some hood time in and cranking out eight hours of welding. So I don't want to say it was by chance that I got here because I had to work really hard to do so, but um, I took a really big leap. So before I got into welding, I actually used to work on horse farms. That was, uh, that's where my heart was. That's what I did. Um, and then, you know, my fiance and I had started dating. We were getting, you know, more serious and talking about moving in together one day. And the thing with horse farms is it's, uh, it's all cash money. And unfortunately, if I want to have a house one day and a mortgage, it means you have to have a paper trail. So I had to, uh, put on my big girl pants, if you will, and, uh, find, find another job. Now, the problem was I couldn't afford to not be working at all and go back to school full time. Um, and I had heard that Mohawk College has an introduction to welding course. It runs on Saturdays only for three or four hours and I think for eight weeks. So it basically gave me the chance to go in, learn how to safely weld and see if I liked it um, or if I was even any kind of good at it. Um, I loved it. I wasn't half bad at it. So after passing my course and at least saying, you know, I passed knowing how to put a bit like a bead down, um, I had put out on social media, does anybody know of a shop that'll take in like a new welder, somebody that doesn't know what they're doing? I was really lucky. I found my first shop. Um, I had stayed there for a little bit, learned what I could from them. And then actually through, um, through family, I had somebody who already worked for Lakeside. And I was speaking to them about, you know, my welding career and where I wanted to go. And she had mentioned that Lakeside was hiring for a welder. So I put in my, uh, my resume and here I am at Lakeside a year later. Uh, one of the biggest obstacles I've faced, um, you can't tell because we're virtual, but I stand at a very petite five foot nothing, uh, 113 pounds. <laughs> so being in a, um, a man's world, if you will, um, being taken seriously when I come to work. Um, you know, when I walked into my first shop, like it was the size of a football field and I was one of five women. Um, you know, it's, it's a very demanding job what we do. So walking in and knowing every day, you know, I had to prove to the guys that, um, I was there for, uh, I was there to get the job done. I can do what the guys can do. Um, and just not letting, not letting that stop me. Um, so I just, I, I strive, I, I strive to say, you know, I'm one of the guys, like I'm just as equal. The biggest risk was definitely even, you know, trying my hand at coming into the welding world. I had never had a shop job, let alone being in the welding industry i had no idea ladies and i think some gentlemen um how to read a tape measure <laughs> when, when i walked into my first shop um how did i get the courage um i have a great support system um my fiance is my biggest advocate um and like i i give a lot of credit to him when it comes to that because i'm definitely that girl that's like oh like I can do it. And I think so. And then my anxiety kicks in and definitely says like, there's, there's no way, there's no way you could ever get away with it. And he's the one in the corner. That's like, no, you can, you can. Um, because I didn't tell anybody when I went to Mohawk, I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell my friends that that's what I was doing. Because if I'm being very honest and very transparent, I was scared to fail. 
Um, I was so scared to not pass. I was so scared to walk into my first weld shop and do a weld test and not get it. And then if I didn't get it, I didn't know what I was going to do from there for a job. Um, so I think it was definitely, I was, I was lucky that I'm, I'm not half bad at what I do. Um, and that my shop was willing to bring me in, even though I was so green. Um, but yeah, like the, the biggest, biggest hurdle, biggest risk that I took was even, even just trying to get into this world, but it was the scariest and the most rewarding thing I've ever done. And I love every minute of it every day, and I wouldn't change it for anything.